Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain about environmental biology. In this, I am going to tell introduction, definition and concept of biosphere. So, first of all, let us know about the introduction of environmental biology or ecology. So, the term ecology was coined by co combining two Greek words oikos and logos that is oikology. So, here oikos means home or house, logos means study of. So, oikology is that means the study of home. So, home is nothing but here our environment. So, the studying of environment is nothing but ecology. So, to denote such relationship between the organisms and their environment. Every living organism is surrounded by materials and force, forces which constitutes its environment. Living organism interact with different non-living and living components of the environment. So here the surrounding outer world which we now call the environment of an organisms. The organic and inorganic conditions we call as biotic and abiotic environmental factors. So you already know about the biotic and abiotic factors. So here the abiotic components are chemical and physical factors. So the physical factors are rainfall, humidity, temperature, pH etc. And chemical factors are inorganic and organic components. So inorganic components like sodium, potassium, zinc, iron etc. Organic components are carbohydrate, proteins, lipids etc. So biotic factors are plant, animals and microbes. So these biotic and abiotic factors. So the combination or interaction between biotic and abiotic environmental factor. Hence environment is the study of the interaction between living things and their physical, chemical and biological environment. Now let us know about the definitions of environmental biology or ecology. So the scientific study of interactions of organisms with their physical environment and with each other is called ecology according to Helena Kerstis. So according to Helena Kerstis, it is a scientific interaction between the organism and their abiotic environment. So according to Ernest Haeckel, the investigation of total relations of animals to its inorganic and organic environment. So here the interaction of organisms with its inorganic and organic environment. This is according to Ernest Haeckel. According to R.L. Smith, environmental biology or ecology is a multidisciplinary science which deals with the organisms and its place to live and which focuses on the ecosystem. And according to Southwick, the scientific study of the relationship of living organism with each other and with their environment. So here the abiotic and biotic components along with the living organism. So interaction between the biotic and abiotic components with their environment that is calling as environmental biology or ecology. So now next let us know about the concept of biosphere or ecosphere. So the entire world basically classified into biotic world and abiotic world. The abiotic world would be further divided into three packages or three components that is atmosphere, hydrosphere and lithosphere. 
so to these three ecological components we can add the biological world or biotic world that is the biosphere so the biosphere means where the life exist such a sphere is calling as biosphere so now these four spheres continuously exchange matter with one another but obviously there are differences in the total amount of the natural elements in each organisms take in inorganic nutrients from the soil water and air they eliminate their wastes and their bodies are rendered into inorganic molecules once again so here these four spheres continuously exchange matter with one another one another then biosphere thought of as a biochemical system which capable of capturing converting storing and utilizing the energy of the sun approximately there are presence of 300000 species of green plants and microorganisms are recognized as primary producers which utilize inorganic elements and compounds to synthesize the organic materials of life so in the biosphere the abiotic components are majorly atmosphere hydrosphere and lithosphere so first of all let us know about the high atmosphere so here atmosphere the multi layered gaseous envelope surrounding the planet earth is called atmosphere so it is an ocean of air which blends into outer space some 1000 km or so above the earth surface so it has many function so like the filtering of radiant energy from sun so from the sun insulation from heat loss at the earth's surface and stabilization of weather and climate owing to the heat capacity of the sun sorry heat capacity of the air so several cycles are also present in it that relate to the movement of matter between an organism and its environment so these bio geochemical cycles of matter include the water cycle the carbon cycle the nitrogen cycle the phosphorus cycle and others the atmosphere is a reservoir of several elements which are essential to life so next let us know about the atmospheric layers so there are five concentric layers within the atmosphere which can be differentiated on the basis of temperature so first troposphere stratosphere mesosphere thermosphere and exosphere so let us know about the troposphere so troposphere is the lowest layer of atmosphere in which man along with other living organisms live so the troposphere is roughly 10 km thick being somewhat thicker in the equatorial region than it is at the pole so it is characterized by the steady decrease in temperature and is a mixture of several different gases so most of which are fairly constant in their abundance the composition of troposphere excepting water vapor and air borne particles that is nothing but dust so then here presence of strong air movement and cloud formation so as i said it is 10 km thick somewhat thicker in the equatorial region than it is at the poles so next is stratosphere so stratosphere can be defined as the air mass extending from the 
ट्रोपोपॉज और अपर मोस्ट लेवल ऑफ ट्रोपोस्पिया टू दि स्ट्राटोपॉज सो इट इज कैरेक्टराइज इट इज कैरेक्टराइज बाय सो अबाउट 50 किलोमीटर अबो द सर्फेस ऑफ दि अर्थ एंड हिय दि टेम्परेचर rises from a minimum of about minus 55 degree celsius to a maximum of about 5 degree celsius so the stropo uh, stroposphere exhibits several significant differences from the troposphere so your water vapor is virtually absent the only clouds found in the stratosphere are very thin wispy clouds for of tiny ice crystals and also ozone is present and well marked ozone layer that is calling as ozonosphere within the stratosphere so ozone is formed from oxygen by a photochemical reaction in which energy from the sun splits apart the oxygen molecule to form atomic oxygen so this is about the stratosphere so now next layer is mesosphere so above the stratosphere is the mesosphere so mesosphere which have the characters that are like so it is characterized by cold temperature and very low atmospheric pressure in fact the temperature reversal starts from the stratopause that is uh, temperature begins to drop reaching a minimum about minus 95 degree celsius at a level some 80 to 90 km above the earth surface so this level is termed the mesopause so now like next layer is thermosphere so above the mesosphere is the thermosphere which extends up to 500 km above the earth surface and is characterized by steady temperature increase with height from mesopause so the temperature includes the region in which ultraviolet radiation and cosmic rays cause ionization of molecules like oxygen and nitric oxide so here the ultraviolet radiation and cosmic rays which cause ionization of molecules like oxygen and nitric oxide so this region is called the ionosphere so in the thermosphere molecules of air are so widely spaced okay so molecules are air widely spaced that high frequency audible sounds are not carried by the atmosphere okay so this is about the thermosphere so next sphere is exosphere so the reason the region of atmosphere above the thermosphere is called exosphere or outer space which lacks atoms except that of hydrogen and helium so only hydrogen and helium present in this layer and extends up to 32190 km from the planet so exosphere has very high temperature due to the solar radiation and the earth's magnetic field becomes more important than gravity in the distribution of atomic particles in the exosphere so all the layers of the atmosphere are total blanket of air in the biosphere so air is an important ecological factor and also serves as a medium of living for some organisms so this is about the five layers of atmosphere now next is a hydrosphere and lithosphere so hydrosphere so hydrosphere is the liquid water covers about 3 quarters of the earth's surface either 
as ocean or as fresh water and forms the hydrosphere so hydrosphere is the total amount of water on a planet which includes water that is on the surface on planet underground and in the air a planet's hydrosphere can be liquid vapor or ice on earth the liquid water exists on the surface in the form of ocean lakes and rivers okay then the next sphere is lithosphere so lithosphere the earth is is a cold spherical solid planet of the solar system which spins on its axis and revolves around the sun at a certain constant distance so the solid component of the earth is called lithosphere so lithosphere is multilayered which includes the following three main layers so layers of lithosphere which includes three main layers it is core mantle and crust so the core is the central fluid of vaporized sphere having the diameter of about 2500 km from the center and is possibly composed of nickel and iron okay so this core is central fluid or vaporized sphere the next is the mantle mantle extends about to 2900 km above the core and this is in a molten state then next is the crust the crust is the outermost solid zone of the earth and it is about 8 to 40 km above the mantle the crust is very complex and its surface is covered with the soil supporting rich and varied biotic communities for living organisms so find in this soil and environment providing food shelter encourage and concealment from the predators so this is about the ecological or ecology or environmental biology in that introduction definition and concept of biosphere thank you